Hey there guys, welcome to Simply Basic Recipes. Today we're going to make a wreath pizza for Christmas and you're going to need some pizza dough and what I'm going to use is Pillsbury already made pizza dough in the can. You can find it in the refrigerator section or the um, biscuit section of your local grocery store. So I'm just going to ball it up and then use my um, rolling pin to kind of flatten it a little bit and make a circular shape and then I'm just going to toss it back and forth between my hands and kind of stretch it a little bit to where it's going to be a circular shape because if you take it right out of the can it's going to be rectangle and you don't want that. So once you get that done you're going to spray a round pizza pan or whatever size you have that your dough will fit on. Spray it with some cooking spray and put down your pizza dough. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to get a pizza cutter and go around the dough and make it as perfectly circled as I can with the pizza cutter. But like I said, it doesn't matter because so I'm just going to take my pizza cutter and then I'm just going to go around the side of the pizza and just draw some little indentions with the pizza cutter and maybe cut some mostly all the way through. And that's going to look like more like a wreath, give it some texture there around the edges. And then once you get finished making your texture around the edges, you can use some of your leftover dough that you cut off from around the circle. And you're just going to stretch it out and make it as round as possible, kind of like a little snake. And then you can just tie like a little bow. However you can tie it, if you want to really tie one, that's fine. I'm just going to kind of loop over the loops there. And then I'm going to put a piece of dough over top of that to look like where it was tied in the middle and then hang down the um, the sides of it. And once it cooks, all of it's gonna cook together so it's not gonna look separated like it is right now. Then you can take some red food coloring and I've got the Wilton gel paste because a little bit goes a long way and it's not as watery as regular food coloring. So I'm just gonna dip my brush inside the food coloring and just paint a little bit on the bow. It doesn't have to be real thick or anything, just enough to give it some color. Once you finish painting your red bow, to go ahead and take some green food coloring as well and dip your paintbrush in that and just go around the edges of the wreath with the green. And this is gonna help just keep it looking more like a wreath because whenever you put the cheese on it it's not going to cover the edges completely so you still want to have a little bit of green around the edges to cover the whole wreath it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to get in every little crease of the pizza just kind of make sure that you go around the edge and just have a little bit of green now for the last step before we get ready to pre-bake the dough you're going to take a biscuit cutter or something round or even just a knife and eyeball it. Just cut a center hole out of your wreath so you can make sure that you get the real wreath shape. And go ahead on the inside and put a little bit more green food coloring on the inside as well. Then when you're finished painting the food coloring on your wreath, my dough requires it to pre-bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 6 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in the oven and we'll be right back whenever it's finished. So while my dough is pre-baking, I've got some mozzarella cheese and I've got it shredded. So I've got it in a bowl and I've got my green gel paste. I'm just going to put a little dab of green gel paste inside the cheese. You don't want to put a whole lot because it'll kind of ball up in there around the cheese and you'll have some dark green spots. So just put a little bit. The cheese is also going to give the wreath um, more like a grassy like texture also. So it's going to look really good. So now my dough is finished pre-baking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the red sauce on and I've just got some store-bought pizza sauce and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that around the pizza. Remember a little bit of pizza sauce goes a long way. You don't wanna overdo it when you're making your own pizza because the pizza sauce can be very overpowering. So now that I've got my pizza sauce on the pizza, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the green grass all the way around the pizza. I'm gonna make sure that I put enough to pretty much cover all of the red pizza sauce. You don't want to see it through the green. And lastly, I've got some pepperonis and I've got a um, Wilton cake decorating icing tip and I'm going to just cut three little circles out of the pepperoni with the icing tip and I'm going to put them on top of the wreath, three in each bunch and it's going to look like little holly berries in the wreath and it's going to be really cute. So go ahead and do that and place them wherever you want to on the wreath 
and then you're gonna might well the dough that I'm using requires me to bake it for six to ten minutes or until it gets to like a golden brown color and all the cheese melts so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the oven and we'll be back to see the finished product when it's done all right guys this is my finished Christmas wreath I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys will give it a try one night with your family before Christmas and uh, have a little festive dinner and get yourself in the Christmas spirit and I'll see you guys in my next baking video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.